Weird. Couldn't even get through that sentence. Oh. But I got a cattle bone. Stopping for some food. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 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 So Shane Dawson's made a return to YouTube with an epic three-part series that spans two and a half hours, all of which I watched because I'm a degenerate who likes doing shit like this for views. I have an issue. Subscribe. Yeah, I'm taking a look at the whole of Shane Dawson's three-part trilogy. The first one's called The Haunting of Shane Dawson. I've been haunted by his videos ever since it came up on my recommendation. I wanted to take a look at his return to YouTube in this huge series that he's done. But I also wanted to take a look at his past, and I think that deserves its own video. So after this video, what I'm going to do is release another video where I look at Shane Dawson taking accountability. I actually found that he has three apology videos in the last seven years over the same thing. I think that deserves its own video, its own deep dive, and that will be after this video. In short, what I'm saying is I'm going crazy listening to Shane. But here we are. So brace your anus. Oh, why did I say it like that? Yes, he's back on YouTube after a two year wait. But this video is a bit different. What Shane did in this video is he went and moved to Colorado with his husband and- During the nighttime, the camera won't focus on me. I'm lying. They seem to have been haunted because everywhere Shane goes, he is haunted. I don't know who is haunting this motherfucker, but a lot of people seem to just not like Shane. Even dead people are like, ah, I don't know about us. I'm going to sit down and watch the whole thing in one sitting. Sponsored? <laughs> that was a pretty cool edit, huh? Bet you want to know how I did it. Well, it's actually a brand new feature that was added to Wondershare Fulmora 10 called AR stickers. They kind of work like filters and they're super helpful for spicing up and making those moments in your videos more fun. I'm lucky to be partnered with Wondershare Fulmora 10 for this video and I'd love to tell you about a couple more really cool features. Along with AR stickers, this month they've added audio effects, an integrated film stock effects library with over 20,000 effects, AI portrait and auto reframe, which I personally love because it allows you to easily change aspect ratios. So if you wanted to upload a video from one platform like YouTube to TikTok where videos need to be vertical, it can easily do so. Using that feature makes it possible. And using AR stickers is super easy. You just add it into the timeline above the source footage and it does all the rest for you. And let me tell you, everything is better with big eyes. Aside from the new features I mentioned, Wondershare Filmora 10 is stocked with tons of useful tools any new or experienced editor would find handy. Tools like green screen, color matching, audio ducking, and much more. Right now, Wondershare Filmora 10 has collaborated with Insta360 to give away a new Insta360 go-to action camera by submitting creative video concepts on Filmora's website. So you guys should definitely check that out. Not if I check a fuss, damn, I wanna win that camera. If you wanna check out Fulmora 10, it's free to try for my subscribers. Click the link in my description and comment on what you think of Fulmora 10 by using the hashtag CreateWithFulmora. And don't forget to enter the Insta360 giveaway contest. Thanks, Fulmora. Get your pillows. <sighs> So for anybody who doesn't know, Shane is a famous or now infamous YouTuber who has since been cancelled from the platform for doing many Let's start with questionable things. Now he did do them in the past, and since then he has created an empath type of complex. He's become a more open, loving guy. In the past he was so loving that cats got just on. Uh, so I don't know if necessarily he's ever owned up to those actions, but what he does do is sort of address them in his return to YouTube. He sort of glosses over them, but he addresses them. But his return to YouTube has caused a lot of people to have mixed feelings about it. Like just looking at the comments on his first video. It's got a pretty positive like to dislike ratio, although it is noticeable. 385,000 likes to 71,000 dislikes. And the top comment sort of says it all. A lot of people said, if Shane posted another conspiracy video, I'd still watch it, even if he is cancelled. But nobody was actually expecting him to actually post one again. This should be interesting. Anyway, like I said, 8th of October 2021, Shane made his return close to Halloween. Great, great marketing strategy. Even better marketing strategy for him to leave when he was getting cancelled. You know why? The heat sort of left him. People sort of forgot what he did. Do you really remember everything he did? And I know some people were feeling sorry for him, like how is he making money? He's been doing fine. His merch has been selling like hot eggs. 
I don't know why I said it like that either. <clears throat> now when the video was released, instantly it was at the top of trending and it's sitting at about five and a half million views as we speak. Although part two and part three are doing less well. And if you look back at his older videos, they seem to be doing better than the ones now. Like I said, today we are doing the deepest of dives and watching the content. Once again, before we start this video, to anyone who's joining me and is willing to stick it out, thank you. Uh, do subscribe if you're new here. Hit me up on Instagram at 16leo underscore if you have anything to say or just say hi. Let's go. Part one, baby. The haunting of Shane Dawson. That was the whole scariest thing in the whole video. You were watching a three part Shane Dawson video. When I watched it, I was like, oh God, I thought it was just one. And the font, that's scary. What is that? Times newer Roman? Oh my God, Shane, you can afford better font. Things follow me, Chris. You're not gonna go out the way you said that was so scary. <laughs> Lil, I've missed you. I'm assuming to his fans. Very nice. How are we feeling about this uh, documentary style video? Because Shane Dawson does documentary videos now. He's a filmmaker. Because he made that movie. Not cool. The movie's shit. A guy puts his balls on camera. The homeless man eats shit. Shane Dawson wrote it in. The other movie he made that I saw, he dresses up as a fat person and says questionable things. You look like a child pro but happy about it. Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> That's what his name is. So epic if that was real. <laughs> We're greeted with the visual gag of Shane not playing the piano. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's the first thing I've seen from him all year. I made a joke on my Twitch live stream, by the way, that he didn't want to touch the black keys <laughs> because of his uh, previous offenses. Say what you want. I'm from Africa, baby. I know what I'm talking about. I learned piano during my break. <laughs> Kidding, I didn't learn anything. That's the problem. No, no, no. That's the problem. Don't. Don't laugh at that. You just flat out said it. I didn't learn anything. I didn't learn how to play piano. I didn't learn how to get better at editing. I still use Times New Roman font. One year has been pretty good. Shane didn't seem to learn anything. I haven't seen him really take accountability in any shape or form. And this apparently is the video where he, you know, talks about him taking accountability but it's also a documentary he like mashed it into one i think he should have made a separate video before he made this video personally but maybe he's gonna say some real shit down from the heart maybe he's gonna vin diesel me you know i learned a lot about myself i don't know how to do this i haven't filmed a video in uh, almost two years anyways hi what are we doing? <laughs> yeah, what are you doing, actually? Isn't it like learning how to ride a bike? You don't forget. It's not like you get in the bike dick first and just miss. Like, it's not like that hard. Press record and start talking. I feel like I have so much to say. That I don't know where to start. Look at my new bling pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, mean, I, I don't know. want that. Yeah. Maybe you could start at the part. Oh, okay, the bl okay, bling pumpkin. That, yeah, start at the bling pumpkin. Don't, don't need to bring up any of the past, you know, stuff that you did. Thank you for pointing that out. If you didn't, I wouldn't ever know that you had a bling pumpkin. Unfortunate thing that I think that's going to happen in this video is he's going to gloss over everything that he's done. Be like, you know, I've changed. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry if you feel that way. And then move on. And people are going to forget about the content. Unlike Brooke Houts, who did something pretty bad, we never let her forget. I don't think you can just be excused and go back to making content like everything's just okay. But this seems to be what's happening. Anyways, try to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, what the hell? I wasn't expecting that. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's true, but uh, if that is true, then, oh my god, you know, like, seek help or, 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 or talk to someone close to you. That Don't joke about that, Shane. That's Seriously hope he's joking. Well, I don't hope he's joking, because that would be even shittier. I'm okay. I didn't. I didn't. I there we go. He was joking. What a douchebag. What a what a d-bag for everyone who's actually tried to, including d-bag, d-bag, t-bag, d-bag. I'd t-bag that d-bag, non-sensually. Really nervous. Okay. Why am I? No, I'm not. I'm not nervous. I hope my maid doesn't slip on this, cause you know how Mexicans like to file a lawsuit. Wow. Okay. Um. You wonder why the video's two hours thirty minutes long? There it is. Can you talk a little faster? Do something. 
Every other sentence is And he's using that soft voice that I know a lot of people don't like because I know the old Shane. I don't quite understand the logic of being picky when you have no job. He's now using the the soft palate that is getting you to empathize with him. And I know a lot of people have told me they just cannot stand it. It's hard to unhear once you hear it. If you listen to him speak, he'll be like, I don't know what I'm saying. And it's like that Aww. voice. But you can't aw yourself out of this situation. Oh, I moved. If you didn't notice, this is not um, my creepy house in LA. This is my creepy house in Colorado. <laughs> what a creepy flex! <laughs> How well is that YouTube cancellation pay? Maybe, maybe I should start, you know, doing some some faces myself. Maybe some white face. Uh -oh. Damn, Shane. <laughs> So, this is the sign in my new house. This was here when we went to the open house, and I loved it, but I never actually read it. We say I'm sorry. The house came with the sign? You can take it down, bro. I think the only thing houses need to come equipped with is doors. This is a five bedroom house, six bathroom, 10 garage. Every time I say a number, it gets bigger. But the one thing you cannot get rid of in this house is, is this poster. Who sells a house with this shit there? What is that? We say I'm sorry. Yes, we do. Don't worry, I'll get to that. I hope you do, Shane. I hope you do. It's been a while. I would love to see you actually get into that instead of make light of the situation. Did you see what he did? He was like, oh, um, we say I'm sorry. Why do you have to nod that hard? Are you in Metallica concert, bro? We make mistakes. Uh-huh. Yes, we do. <laughs> I'll get to that. We forgive quickly. How about you get to that? Nice. How about we don't though? How about we once again bring up your past and talk about it in an open environment? Because if you can make a two and a half hour three part series on haunting of ghosts in Colorado, then you can definitely make a video longer than 20 minutes taking accountability for, I don't know, seven years of pretty iffy past. You know, compared to you, I am a nobody and I probably always will be one, but I think I have a point. You can hate me. If you hate me, honestly, I feel better that way because it's like because I finally don't really care anymore what other people think about me, except for myself. Yeah, think about that one, Shane. I feel like if you're in entertainment, you do somewhat have to care about what your fans think of you. Because if you don't have fans, then you're just a guy running around Colorado going, What the f- Oh, I'm sorry, that's Daniel. I thought it was a ghost. He was He's just Irish. I mean, if you don't have fans watching this video, say it got 10,000 views instead of 5 million, you'd be very, very, very hard-pressed, wouldn't you? I feel like you'd be sore in the heart if that was the case. So you do care about the fans, and they care about you, and they want to see you succeed which means you have to take responsibility. You saying that you don't care after one year of the situation is not a great look. That's all, that's my opinion. This is my channel, I'm 16 Leo on YouTube and I have one of the best comedy channels ever, which is why I sit like this. I, I, I've broken my back by the way, so can you call an ambulance please? This is so weird. I don't know what to do, this is so weird. <laughs> This is what happens when Shane Dawson doesn't have content to full his time. He just fluffs and stat pads this thing. <laughs> ah! Just add that in. Don't don't cut that out. That's primo content. I don't know what to do. This is weird. Ah! That's weird. That's weird. Just screaming randomly. Weird. Oh my god, I feel like, I feel like a TikToker doing her first video. <laughs> like, what do I do? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um... So, is that it? I, I went to TikTok and literally, like, I loved it for a week and then it got cancelled and I couldn't go on it anymore. The cringe on that one was too strong. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. They were like, uh, 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 Shane, and I was like, uh, but I did the dance, so I was like, uh, 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 do the kids like me still? Please stop. It was like, every time I'd swipe, it would be like, and then I'd swipe up and it'd be like, Shane Dawson needs to kill himself, and I'm like, alright, well, let's just get back to that. <laughs> Which is wrong, just by the way. Nobody should be saying anything like that to anyone. It, it must be very hard for him to have seen stuff like that. I can't empathize with you, but I do sympathize with you. I haven't had anyone yet yeah, 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 yeah. Say, say that they want to, uh, accept The Undertaker. <laughs> Who I will wrestle at WrestleMania 78. Are we up to 78 yet? <laughs> I should probably explain why I moved. I feel like if I don't just start trying something, nothing's gonna happen, right? 
Like maybe this will get me creative again. Wait, what am I talking about? I have a pinata. I love her. She's sweet. She doesn't have a name yet. I, I don't know what he's talking about, but I'll tell you what I think he's talking about. He's explaining why he moved to Colorado because he didn't want to face the heat that was in California. That is figuratively speaking, but also very hot in California. Does anybody? There's nobody in the room. Nobody can back me up on that. Sometimes you do need to get away from it. So I don't necessarily blame him, but don't be surprised if this man moves back to California and secretly slips back into your life. He's like a creepy fuckboy. He just slips back into your DMs and you're like, whoa, whoa. This guy slips back in without people even noticing he's on YouTube. Unbelievable. You doing all right, Shane? No. <laughs> I don't even laugh. I already know Shane's not gonna say yes. What? And what is this guy laughing about? <laughs> like, what is this weird, nervous laughter going around the room? Do you not feel the energy in this video being very, very off? Or is it just me? Genuinely, I'm asking. Yes, we do. Tell me down below. Do you feel the energy that is somewhat off? Like they're stepping on eggshells or doing something that seems that it's not genuine, if you know what I mean. Like the cameraman's like, Shane, are you okay? <laughs> That's a stupid question, of course you're not. <laughs> <laughs> Something feels very off with this video and it's not the haunting. This seriously is the haunting of Shane Dawson because it's his past career catching up to him. That was a good line. <laughs> Someone just bought me for that. I'm in a place now where I, it's been a very, oh my God, the sun's coming out. Man, F you, Shane. What are you? This has been a hard time for me because, oh my God, the sun's coming out. Oh, the wind's blowing. Do you hear those plops? That's Rylan taking a shit. <laughs> I wish I cared about that. I'm in a place, you know, people who care about that, it's weird. Okay. <laughs> the sunset. Oh my God. And? I couldn't even get through that sentence. Oh my God. Please, Shane, can we get to the point? It's pretty, pretty ugly. Shane's gonna fire me if I don't laugh. As always, get the cameraman who are like yes men or people who are so up the creator's ass that you need a 10 foot pole to pull them down. I'm gonna do one of these videos. One day, uh, my friends and I, we're gonna go to a haunted alley. One of my friends is gonna just be like, Pfft. we're going to pick it up on camera, replay it, slow the sound down, and be like, Pfft. That is the demon named Lachavaf, who is the Underlord, and he is third in command next to Wario and Satan. That's what we're gonna do. He's being quirky, isn't he? I have demons in my house. I had a bad year. <laughs> What a weird way to process emotions. I feel like you, you're better off talking about them than masquerading around uh, in this facade that you have here. Trying to convince everybody else that you're happy in Colorado. If you really are, I don't think you need to say it. I don't think you need to convince us. It's weird, because if I talk about it, how I really feel, people are going to say, oh, you're trying to get sympathy or whatever. So I, I like don't want to talk about it. But I thought you didn't care what other people said. You, I mean, you said that early in the video. You don't care what other people think. Because I finally don't really care anymore what other people think about me. Why wouldn't you put it up? I feel like I've caught you on your own lies. Big brain time. In the next chapter of my life, I really do want to focus on what I've wanted to do forever, which is make horror movies. I mean, you're doing a great job. This is fucking horrific. <laughs> oh my god, did you <laughs> the timing? <laughs> Calm down, not yet. Um, we'll get to you. I love the, I love the faces he makes though. I will give him that. I always love people with expressive faces. What was that? Woo! <laughs> 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 He's like a kid's entertainer. I've sat through half of this episode and seen or heard nothing. I don't even know what this video is about. <laughs> I am losing my mind and I just started. Sorry. Uh, we'll get to you too. Um, that lives underneath. No, 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 no. I need the help of Jesus Christ himself. Lord, help me. Oh, was that, was that Jesus? Oh no, it was the roof. This is, um, like a living room. I don't know what this is. Uh, yeah, it's a living room. I don't know. I love it. I love this room. Then he gives us a house tour because, you know, with every haunting video, you have to get a house tour first. But he's like, not sure. But then he says what it is, then says he's not sure. It's a graveyard. I don't know what it is. Just bury, just bury some shit with me. I don't know what it is. 
<laughs> All right, Shane, <laughs> calm down, bro. That my friend got me hit when my cat passed away. You almost took a cat from Mexico, too. I did almost get a cat in Mexico. I did not fuck <sighs> my cat. I didn't come on my cat. I didn't <sighs> put my dick anywhere near my cat. I don't know how to say this nicely, but letting Shane Dawson around cats is like letting Jared Fogle around kids. Would you do it? It tastes awesome, too. I didn't penetrate. I laid the cat down on her back I and then I, I, I moved her little chicken legs, like, you know, spread open or whatever. And I was like, if I just, like, hump, but, like, on her tummy, like, that's not weird. Like, whatever. And then I humped and I humped and I humped and I kept going and kept going. And I came all over the cat. No, you did not. It was like my first sexual experience. No I was also way. like 19. <laughs> so to be holding a baby kitten at this point feels like a predatory thing. So. I've had a year. Um. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's hard, I can't not laugh about it, you know what I mean? I don't know what you mean though. I, I think you can not laugh about it. I think you have the right to give your audience something to be serious about. I think you should be serious about this. Because you don't seem to really have said anything. All you've said is, I, I don't care. If you don't like me, you don't like me. What can I do? I'm, I'm Shane. I'm too big to fail. And that's not a literal statement. He's, he is. He's too big to fail. It's actually sort of impressive how much attention he's got on his return. I assumed everybody hated this man. And they were like, you know, he's done. I will never watch him again. Lo and behold, 5 million views on the first video. Somebody's flop flopping. This is my wife. I'm watching Emma Chamberlain get ready for the Met Gala. Filled with jealousy that I'm not Emma Chamberlain. Anyway, then he goes down to Ryland's part of the house and we see him face down, ass up in the pillows, just looking at Emma, Emma Chamberlain, who I might as well be honest with you, I don't know half these people. Look, he's still here. He didn't leave me. Money. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe they do love each other. <laughs> it's kind of hard to leave someone who's worth... Yeah, $12 million net worth. It's, uh, you know, saying no to that, pretty tough. Which is probably what Shane knows, so. Power dynamic. But anyway, whatever. You like it here? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like further from success than ever watching everyone at the Met Gala, but I also, like, am happy with our new life. Like, my priorities now are, like, making sure the zones of our sprinklers are working so that the grass doesn't die. Okay, well, Ryland, not that I need to tell you. I mean, you know, you can make your own decisions in life, but um, success has nothing to do with a fucking Met Gala. I think that's the worst place to deem whether you're successful or not. Then they somehow show a picture of Ryland mowing the lawn, but the camera's this way, so someone was filming him mowing the lawn as if he was in an action movie called The Grass is Always Greener on the Shorter Side. <laughs> Who the hell cares that he's mowing lawns? Like, he had to show people. He's, like, convincing people that he doesn't want to be in California. Like, you know, I've left that life. I know Emma Chamberlain is dressed fabulously. But look how short this grass is. Look at it. I'm mowing the lawn and showing you. I can do it myself these days. But I'm so happy here. I do love it here. Like, I'm shitting on it, but it's everything. I mean, this is gorgeous. Look at my life. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I sort of agree with Shane there. Like, <laughs> Whoa, it's actually my gorgeous life. You're just in it, Ryland. Is this video sponsored? No, <laughs> no, well, <laughs> I thought about that. And I'm like, am I ever gonna get a brand deal again? <laughs> I never really got them anyways. But we do, bitch. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Just kidding. Oh my God, the Dolan twins. Hey guys, I'm Candles. <laughs> Twin flames, if they don't call their fucking company, no. Twin flames? Sorry, I sort of like zoned out and the guy starts screaming about twin flames. <sighs> Shane, uh, is your video gonna start anytime soon? I have a life to live. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get married by the time you finish this video and that's gonna be a long time. So can we get to the point? Is there a haunting in Colorado? Has the ghost died of old age? What, what are we doing here? <laughs> I went through a weird uh, time where I wanted to leave the internet. I didn't want to be a part of it. I felt like it ruined my life. Not... I'm sorry. I'm very, very, very disconnected from the person that I was in my early 20s. To a point where when I see that person, it makes me feel really sad and sick to my stomach. But some things I've learned over the last year and a half is I can't just pretend like that person didn't exist. So. I've really come to peace with that. Okay, so I want to bring your attention to something that I find very peculiar in this video. Shane Dawson said that he edits his whole 
like all of his videos himself, which is, you know, bravo to you. But if you do, or even if you don't, the footage that he used when he said that he's not proud of himself is not damning footage at all. It's not where he's in a certain color face. It's not when he's saying a certain word, or it's not when he's doing certain things with animals, or the stuff with his cousin. And Lucy, I check my statistics and I have a lot of watching, so can you please eat a cocktail weenie? I think all of that footage he could have easily shown when he was talking about him not being proud of himself, because that was all on his channel. So taking that down and then making us believe that what he did is not as bad as it was is very sneaky. I would call it clever, but it's not because I called you out on that bullshit. Later on, he will show you all the good stuff that his videos have brought, but none of the bad. I had made a lot of growth before I got canceled. The last five or six years, in and out of therapy, dealing with stuff, I feel like I grew as a person. I feel like I learned a lot. I would never say or do any of those jokes, any of those things ever that I did back then. Yeah, but you did do them. You know, lo and behold, I don't really want to hold someone accountable for something I did 10 years ago. But 10 years ago wasn't when you were 13. 10 years ago was when you were in your 20s. And I think that's actually different. If someone's, like, in their teens saying things, they're not fully developed. That's just a factual thing at this point. I feel like you might have some, some basis if you're under 25 doing these things. But I think you should know better. And I think you did know better. But use that to get further on YouTube. You knew what you were doing was wrong, but you knew that doing the wrong thing could get more eyes on you. Because no attention is bad attention. Right, Shane? You're a smart, smart dude. I really believe that he knew the risks, and he knew how high the reward was, and took it anyway. I felt like I got to a place where I was proud of what I was making on YouTube, proud of my personal life, proud of who I was becoming. Like, I felt like I was growing up, and I was excited about the next chapter. And then it felt like everything went spiraled down and then I got canceled and then it felt like the end of the world and I, you know, everything felt like the worst thing ever for like months. Like it lasted months. Yeah, well, it should have lasted longer. And here's my other thing that I feel that is very important. And I think you guys should hopefully agree with me on this. If Shane Dawson really changed into an empath, I think he would have been so disgusted by his actions that before anybody else brought it up, he would make his own video saying, I've done some things that I'm not proud of. And these are the things that I've done. Only when he got canceled did he ever make a video called Taking Accountability. It also made me realize that I can't focus on what other people think of me. I can't control the way that people feel about me. I can't control how people react when I'm getting canceled. People in my life, like I can't control if they're scared. It was really hard, but I learned a lot. And I feel like I'm so happy it happened. So grateful that I got canceled. Nobody ever says that. I've never heard one person say, I'm so grateful for being canceled. Do you know why nobody says that? Because people who get canceled don't have a platform to come back and say it. Which means you're not cancelled. It means that you came back and beat them. And I think you fucking know that. You somehow managed to beat the system. You beat YouTube. You beat the audience. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't beat the You know what I mean. But I shouldn't just throw all that stuff away when it kind of got me to where I am. And it also connected with people. And yeah, there was bad stuff in those videos. But like the good stuff connected with people. And I can't just throw that away. That's... That's weird. And to the people who are still upset and don't want me to be around, and I understand. Look at my new bling pumpkin. See what I mean? He's showing good footage and he's playing that country music that I've been sitting here and now I like all my friends for a long time. And he's influencing people to think of him in a more positive light. He's using the soft voice. He's using the music. He's showing good clips of him, but he has not shown one bad clip of himself. Oh, okay. Well, we'll go to my office because I have some things I want to show you in there. But also, look! Oh my god! I got a paddle boat! Which I know is like weird, but like, new me. Like, old me would never have gotten in something I could say. New me is really <laughs> paddle. Old me would never have got in a paddle boat. New me? would love to use any color or old me would have made jokes about water and how certain races of people cannot swim new me would only think about it <laughs> i don't care about your paddle boat addiction bro please but this is my office i love it so much this is kind of where i'm feeling the most inspired <laughs> <laughs> not cool poster baby where they throw up and they make the whole guy eat poo poo 
amazing movie. Loved it. Loved watching it for Christmas. Me, Shane Dawson, my mom. Oh, here it comes. Oh, oh. Great Christmas. That was. As I said, at my last house, there was um, an entity. So I lay down and I feel a hand on my neck. Oh my god, finally, we are starting with the video. It's only been most of the video, sure. Yeah, so now he starts talking about, I guess, how he's always been haunted by ghosts. And here's the thing, I'm not going to criticize people who believe in ghosts. I I have no opinion. I, I'm fine with the idea of them existing. I'm fine with them not existing. But at the same time, I have a hard time believing a lot of the stuff Shane says. At my house before that, there's an entity. And I know what you're thinking. Shane, you're making all this up. That's what I'm thinking. People in my life who never believed in anything, they were around me for like a day. And they're like, oh my god, there's entities here. Shane and I were training virtually due to COVID. And it was this black figure or whatever just went by the camera and there was this like black figure who just went across the camera and then he looked and leaned over and said hey i'm terry cruz i was shocked i feel like the entity in this house whatever is back here is like positive and creative and exciting um but i could be lying they could be lying to me i'm lying so let's go down there and i'll show it to you uh -oh. You know I scare easy, right? Then why'd you take the job? Jane Dawson makes scary videos. So why are you scaring when doing the camera work? Where did you find this guy? What? That's like an editor who hates editing. What? So I heard about a place from uh, someone I met at a coffee shop. And they were like, oh my god, are you going to do a video on this place? And I was like, oh, I, I've never heard of that before. I'm like, oh, I don't want to give it away. Just like, go. Uh, it's like real. Like, it's not one of those things where it's like, oh my god, like, I heard. It's like, there's people that have gone there that are, like, they are horrified. It's like a really scary place. Oh my god. Like your channel. <laughs> I guess the first video was just a hype job, and then I'm hoping they actually do something in the second video, because I, I just want to finish this video. So, I was like, we're going. <laughs> oh, no. I'll silhouette it. Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna have a heart attack tonight. <laughs> have you seen the new FNAF trailer? Just a little jump scare, because Shane Dawson is the master of filmmaking. He just turned around, he was like, cameraman's gonna love this. <laughs> what happened? Your mom's house what? was built? Oh, I don't know. Are you serious? Did you? <laughs> yeah. know? Well, it's Shut fresh. Up. It's new, it's gonna hurt. No, it was there when we were filming earlier. Well, so it's been there, so I, I don't know, I'm clumsy. I probably did it in my sleep. Chris. Stop it! <laughs> what you guys are, you know, insinuating is that a demon did it, right? 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 So the demon looked at Chris, the cameraman, and was like, Hey, Chris! Arr! That's what the demon did. What kind of useless power is that? Leaving menial bruises on people. That's like a skateboard. He came to bed one night and he popped up and he said, Watch out for the balloons, you're gonna die. Don't fall off the bed, you're gonna die. And he, like, looked me in the eyes. And then I said, what? And then he goes, ha 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 ha, you're gonna die. And then he laid back down. And I was like, hello, hello. And after like five minutes, he, he's like. Oh, well, I was fully asleep. Like something had taken over me in my sleep. And so I was just like trying to go back to sleep, pretend it didn't happen. And he kept being like, well, what's going on? What's going on? And I'm like, I don't want to talk about it. Shut up. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. Then he goes back to sleep. I don't think that's possessed. I think that's just Ryland on a Wednesday. Okay, debunked. Let's move on. He's adjusted the best. This man still has cats. After what he's done, this man still has cats. Like, if anyone's thriving in Colorado, it's Cheeto. He loves this house. Because he loves entities. So, at night, Cheeto lays on my chest and moves her little chicken legs, like, spread open or whatever. No. Cats do this crazy thing where they see ghosts, and, um, <laughs> it's really scary. So he's laying on my chest, and then he'll go. That's PTSD that the cat is having from you being its owner. Debunked. And I also want to show you guys my hood. Wait, was that offensive? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. You don't come from the hood. The hood is Compton, or an area that is lacking privilege. It's a low economy place. I come from the hood, technically, in South Africa. People from Compton, the hood. Inglewood, the hood. You, not the hood. Mm -mm. Debunked. Four, move on. I feel like me and God at this point are just like chill. Like, it's like, I'm like, hey God, and he's like, hey. And then I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, ruining your life. <laughs> Probably not. 
I don't know if God talks to you. Debunked. Number five. Let's go. Anyway, that is how the first video ends. And I did not know this when I started watching the videos. But out of the two hours and 30 minutes, I think 10 minutes are dedicated to him showing footage of the next video. So I just cut that part out. And we move straight on to the second video, which is called Haunted Theories with Shane Dawson. Better like to dislike ratio than the first video. And all the top comments are about his family and fans are really uh, glad to see him back in action. And this is what I mean. Another great, great tactic by Shane Dawson. Breaking the videos up not only gives him more revenue, but it spaces it out in such a way that people from the first video lose interest by the second video and aren't there by the third one. What a smart way to divert your audience. I mean, I can see right through it, but <laughs> I don't think a lot of people can. We'd seen an aspiration of a little girl along the bridge while we heard the drums. We'd seen an aspiration of a little girl along the bridge while we heard the drums. You're saying that a 14 year old girl had passed, people are, are 12, and then people are seeing the figure of a girl, and we're under the bridge and hear what sounds like a young girl screaming. <laughs> okay, so video number two, hopefully they actually do something. Video number one ended where they did nothing, so... All that happened is Shane Dawson now also has a bruise on his arm. And again, I don't want to, you know, be stereotypical, but white people seem to bruise like peaches, so... I don't know, man. You could have slept wrong. Oh. What we need to do is crush these TikTokers that are crushing all these school buildings. Have you heard about this? I don't go into TikTok. Oh, yeah. Right they're like right demolishing now. schools. They're ripping like paper towel dispensers, silk dispensers. Wait, they're saying documenting? They're like documenting, 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 destroying them? They're destroying them. And filming it? Yeah. The viral TikTok challenge is damaging our school. <laughs> they spend weirdly crazy amount of time talking about the TikTok trend that I did a video on not too long ago called Devious Licks. Weird amount of time. Of all people, Ryland's dad is the one giving the primo information on it. Because this motherfucker seems to know everything about it. He's been deviously licking through his phone while his wife has been asleep lately. Now, they kicked off three urinals off the walls today. So they're standing at the urinals and they're ripping off these sensors. There's 277 volts back there. So they could I don't, I don't wish harm on anybody, but I hope the little shit that's taking a piss. You know where that electricity is going to go? Right in his dick. Oh yeah, and we're gonna find out real quick who it is. First, what happened? I don't know, I was in science class and my penis caught the fire. What? I, you know, I don't wish harm on anyone, but I hope his penis explodes. Help me! Going to your guys' house in California is amazing. It was great, but I think California is just very toxic. Oh, I was in science class and my penis caught the fire. I'm starting to see. Uh, like, this is the group that Shane hangs out with, huh? Cheeseman Park's been closed down because there's just too much crazy stuff going on right there. Right. Well, but that's not where we're going, but what is that? There's a place called Cheeseman Park. With Cheeseman Park. Or Cheeseman Park, sorry. It's Denver's biggest traditional haunted spot. Right upon the final resting place of one of the thousands of souls who was buried here. So, they built a park on top of the burial ground? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I guess there's a lot of ghosts and I assume they're going there, but they don't seem to bring it up after this So I don't know. Is your room still locked in? Angie, stick your tongue out if I'm gonna be alone forever Got <laughs> I still hear noises though at night like when she's gone like even last night She was at Austin and Stacy's and you just hear crack up there and you think why? <laughs> Who gets you? Any sound for this household is a demon Ever since, uh, you know, my daughter left, I just, I, I've been hearing these sounds yesterday. Thousand, like, thuds on my roof. I was like, Pfft. I was like, what is it? Is it mini demons? And then my husband walks in and he says, honey, it's a rain. We're on the third bridge. It's one of the most famous thought to be paranormal spots in Colorado. Ghost Bridge, otherwise known as the infamous third bridge. Third bridge, third bridge, third bridge. So then they talk about a bridge. Bridge. Which is where they're going to. And this is why I'm so confused because it's almost the end of part two. And now I'm finally figuring out where they're going. I had no idea where they were going for like the first hour and a half of this video, which is crazy. This time padding is just insane. It's too much. So I started doing some research today on what actually happened there. <laughs> 
any of this could be fact checked. I did a Google search. Ryland's sister talks about something called the Sand Creek Massacre. You know, long story short, what she says is that the Native uh, Americans had been mowed down by white people. Tragic, I know. People of color, even back then. Just, just no help for us, ever. So it's, you know, a tragic thing that has happened. And um, she goes through the story in detail and it's quite crazy. And then Shane puts up a sign saying, a rest in peace to all those who have passed during that time, which is a very nice thing. But then he goes on to say this, our haunted adventure doesn't have anything to do with them. Shane, why are you bringing it up then? So then they end the video by doing the same thing they did at the start of the video. Do you think you're gonna say anything? Oh yeah. I'm Did telling you. Did you guys know, sorry, that the annoying orange is back? No! <laughs> <sighs> They start talking about other things that have nothing to do with anything like the annoying orange being back on YouTube because great, we needed that. We need fucking Ray William Johnson to stand here and then be here in the next shot. Hi guys, I RWJ. Do we need this back on YouTube? I think we're done from that, please. After that, they actually, in part three, go to the scene where they're investigating which i think they could have put part three in part one i don't know why they needed two extra parts it feels like too long i've watched way too much of this and i have an hour and a bit left so i feel crazy i feel really bad and don't want to watch the third part but for you guys i'm going to so uh pray for me in the chat Ray or Mojo. part three shane dawson's trilogy this is the part where he does the stuff. He finally goes to the place that he's going to go and does the things that he said he was going to do in the first two episodes. One hour and 13 minutes, baby. Let's go. We had minimal activity for the first hour. Bro, I was watching. I know you had minimal activity. I've been watching this shit. Then we ran into a group of kids using a Ouija board. I, full disclosure, always thought that word said Ouija. It's Ouija. Why do you spell Ouija with an O? I mean, it feels like a 3 a.m. video. This feels like Jay Station on steroids at this point. I know Shane used to be like, you know, get 50 million views a video, and I think I watched one of them conspiracy theories videos. I thought it was interesting. This, oh my god, this bores me. Holy shit, guys. So that's how the video starts. There's like legitimately five minutes of that crap, and I don't really know what the context of it is. Last night I went to the third bridge with my boyfriend. He saw a black horse. I saw a girl with a white dress in the woods. Sabrina, Colorado. I went there last year with some friends. We saw an apparition of a girl standing in the middle of the bridge. Julia, Colorado. I had to watch Shane's three part series on YouTube knowing damn well some people wouldn't subscribe to me. It was agony in my bum hole. Leo, New Zealand. Mom, are you sure you're okay? I'll close my mouth this light. So, what are we doing? Stopping for some food? <laughs> I am hungry. Oh my god, can you not stop for food? You don't have to film this part. When I'm done with my videos and I use the bathroom, I don't film that experience and put it in my YouTube video. Okay, I don't film the shower scene that I have after I film the video and need to take a shower. Oh. And by the way, what are we doing? From what I can figure, they're going to some bridge. There is a bridge in Colorado that people just keep flying off of. Can we just get to the point, please? Mom thinks I'm a lesbian. Well, bad timing, because we want a Chick-fil-A. <laughs> so far in this video, and I want you guys to, you know, just seriously sit down and actually think about this. We have not talked about ghosts. Uh, there was a shitty intro, and then there was, is this lady a lesbian? And what they're going to eat for dinner before they ghost hunt. There was also five minutes of beeping noises. I'm losing my mind! I don't think I've been up here at night. <gasps> what was that? <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Wait, what was that? Wait, no, but you seriously, guys, you're gonna put that? me in it, huh? We should take the demon stick to third bridge and see what, what happens. Was that a tree? Why is everyone. Oh, it was a demon. 
She's really selling that demon stick idea. You can hear it on the background. We should take my demon stick. Do you want to see my demon stick? Do you want to see my demon stick? If she was a guy at a club, he'd get arrested for that. Hey man, you want to see my demon stick in the club? In the back of the club, you want to see that demon stick? Sir, please uh, get out the club. No, no, it's a real stick, sir. Out, out. What is this? I don't know. I found it in the trees. <laughs> a hiking stick with a metal cross. That looks like something you brand people with. Shane, what are you doing? Jesus has left the chat. <laughs> Shane, the last time people were branded was a very long time ago, and uh, I guess the best depiction of that was in the movie Django Unchained. <laughs> Not sure you should be talking about branding people. Branding cows, maybe. But people? With your track record, Shane, I wouldn't say that. Why do you know what branding people looks like? <laughs> oh, God. Please just leave this topic. Whoa. <laughs> that was <all> right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> all three. So he's just like. <laughs> you know, you just add the sound effect. And suddenly it's scary. Top tier, S tier documentary. You're like, red light. <laughs> <laughs> that light is no joke. Whoa, look how it lights up the outside. Look. Ready? Boom. Oh, oh like whoa. It's, it's as if they've never seen lights before. And with those vine boom sound effects, oh yeah. You got Resident Evil over there, Shane. Oh yeah, daddy likes. <laughs> I mean, I definitely feel like something's gonna happen. I don't think we're gonna get hurt. I think we're gonna see something. Like some shit's gonna go down. I can feel it. The hills are like very haunted. Oh, we are not even like halfway there. Bitch, if you're not even halfway there, why are we... Why do I need to see every mile of this journey? Something better happen in this video, that's all I'm saying. I would be very mad if I'm watching two and a half hours and the last thing that happens is Shane gets like slightly jump scared. What? What? It just turned into a dirt wall. Oh. Like, nowhere. It just turns into a dirt road, but then like yeah. this side's kind of paved. Like, what? We're going to the boonies. Is that a oh my god moment? Is that a moment where the dramatic music should play? Oh my god! What is? Is that a? Go oh, sorry, it's a dirt road. I'm sorry about that. But that it like it came out of nowhere. The dirt road came out and it was there. Uh, get over it. Oh my god, I can't believe they're using the scary music and the dramatic tension music to build up a road. Yeah, sir, this is officially out. Oh my god! Wait, really? Oh, Wait, was it really? Yeah. Wait, there's a lot oh of people on the side of the road. More. What are they doing? I don't know. What oh, are they doing? They're, gold. they're searching for gold. Oh, what is that? A construction worker. I guess he's doing the road up. Have you seen the movie Cars? The motherfucker, the main character, Car. His his name was Lightning Car. <laughs> his name was Lightning McQueef. <laughs> he used to he had to do the dirt road up to finally win his race. This guy has to do the road up so he can finally race people. It's the same thing. What are they doing? They're, gold. They're searching for gold. You searching what for gold? They... Or for metal? They have metal detectors. What if they buried something there from Puerto Rico for something bad they did, and that's why they're doing it at night so no one can see them? They're either gold miners or demons. Those are the only two options. Couldn't be that their car broke down or that they just wanted to be outside. They're demon ghost hunters mining people. They mine gold, but they're ghosts. Ghost gold. New Bitcoin type beat. Invest. Ghost gold. Narrow bridge. Wait. I don't know if this is. This. Oh, somebody else has pulled over down here. Oh, no. ah! they could, I don't know if this. They it's... could turn off their brights. Wait, Jesus ah, Christ. the brights are so bright. Oh, 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 bright. Who are you? I mean, come on. Oncoming traffic with the lights on, and you guys are like, oh my. Are you? It's, it's a, a car. car. Didn't I just say it's Lightning McQueen? This definitely isn't the one that I've been to. Really? But okay, this well, is the third bridge, so it has to be, right? Versus 2.5. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we're almost there. Back to where we were. The hammer battery's blinking. Oh, uh, narrow bridge. Oh no, there's people here. Uh, I was trying to park on this freaking bridge. <laughs> other cars are what scared us is to get oh, back to our car. We had to go by oh, other like people's car. Open. Oh, I'm scared. oh, it we're closed the moment we got out. <laughs> okay, so anyway, they get lost and they finally go back to the bridge where they were supposed to go and a car is there and the door closes. Of course, trouble ensues, but not really, because nothing's happening. Full disclosure again, I'm filming this video late at night because I wanted to get the experience that Shane Dawson had. I'm filming it completely at nighttime so that I could get his experience. What has happened? I'm sleepy. That's it. Shane has made me sleepy yet again. Narcolepsy is now my thing. Thanks, Shane. That's like my biggest fear. Is that a phone? 
What? Wait, what is that? Is it a bone? No, it's toilet paper. Unfortunately, I've been wiping my ass with a bone. I've been putting toilet paper in my body for the last few years. I thought that was bone marrow. Turns out it's just empty toilet paper rolls. I'm Shane Dawson. Biology, not my thing. Anatomy, not my thing. Chemistry, maybe with cats. I don't know. Look what I brought, Chris, to save us in case something goes wrong. I don't, is that? Sorry, sorry. Why'd you spray that on my eyes? That's what I'm gonna do if somebody attacks us. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Unintentionally macing Shane is pretty funny, honestly. He's just looking like, oh, what the? Rylan, you're gonna mace them? That doesn't work on ghosts. I don't know, it works on you. You're canceled. Oh, sorry. That was, that was too easy, Shane. Too easy. Was there three of them or only two that got in the car? Wait, did you hear how scared they were? Yeah, they were just yeah. saying that they don't want to die and what? they were leaving. They waited in their car for a while because they didn't want to interact with those people, but they ran into their car screaming. Don't think I've heard a scream so far. I'm waiting to hear one. Nope, can't hear shit. It didn't sound like anything, and I'm not deaf. I can hear a lot of things. Did not hear screaming. Also, for people who are screaming as loud as you claim they did, they just seem to get in their car and then stay there. And if they really needed help, would they not have seeked help to the nearest people they could find, which was you, because they know your car's there. They're not blind. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to poke holes in your wafer-thin plot over here, but you make it very easy. Maybe just film it with your phone and then we don't have to go. <laughs> My balloons okay? are not doing <laughs> <laughs> It's a weird flex at a time like this, isn't it? <laughs> Instead of him saying like, my shoes are not doing well, he was like, my Balenciaga $500 shoes not doing well in this environment. <clears throat> uh, it was your idea to ghost hunt at this location. You could have bought Timberlands. <laughs> My Yves Saint Laurent shirt has got armpit perspiration since I saw that ghost and uh, my Louis Vuitton belt can't really fit anymore. So yeah, I'm Shane Dawson. I got a lot of sponsorships from Gucci. Everything isn't Gucci in my life though. Look at my new pumpkin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, what? Like, see how this one has two dots? The one behind you has two dots. Oh, behind you. Yeah. There's two dots. So then they take some pictures and some orbs form behind them. Oh no, an anti escape orb! Don't really know, couldn't really see it. They could have uh, tried to not show the glare on the camera, that would have been great. So I really can't comment more on that, but uh, poor filmmaking. That's my comment. Oh, God. Ow! Shit, shit. Ow. Oh, you okay? Yeah. Is my elbow fine? I fall on you. I'm just, I guess I should just give you some highlights. Shane falls, it's a highlight. And now Ryland is hanging up on the top like Spider-Man. And Shane is very concerned, even though the drop is... <gasps> Do we need the music, Shane? Do we need the... Do you have to put the music there? Oh my god! You could have broke your leg. My cousin broke his leg from climbing things. Yeah, but he climbed the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you climbed a bridge. Could have been the same thing. Ryland, I care about you. Aww. Don't break your leg, bro. What is that? Uh, I'm gonna do a little more. It's sorry. a cricket. That's really loud. It's a cricket. If anyone's here, make your presence known. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, yeah. Give us a sign. Cha cha again. I genuinely thought there was gonna be a sign. There was no sign. I was hoping for a sign. The one thing I love about Shane Dawson's conspiracy videos is his uh, listening face, which I just find hilarious because he gets so close to the camera and it's it's like he doesn't look in it, he looks to the side, but then when he hears something, he looks at the camera, he's like... The camera didn't pick up the audio, but I heard the sounds of an old man crying and a horse running.
You'd think that the camera would pick up sounds of an old man crying, which I thought I think that would sound pretty audible. And a horse running seems audible. I mean, if you could hear it, it seems pretty weird that the camera couldn't. But hey, I'll take your word for it, bruh. You heard that, right? Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That scared me so much. I'm so sorry. Was that like a. That was the scream. That was a That was a girl screaming. If this is true, it is scary and freaky. I'll give them that. However, oh my god, this girl sounds like she did the loudest scream of all time. I feel like there's nobody reacted to this. Shane was like, yeah, that's a girl screaming. He reacted to everything. He reacted to Rylan jumping two feet. But the girl screaming at the top of her lungs, he was like, yeah, happens all the time. You see something wrong? I don't see anything wrong. But then they go back to the footage and they replay it and then start to realize, oh, that, that's pretty crazy. Oh my god. Like what? It's so scary. So that's fucking nuts. That crying and shaking. <laughs> so scary. But then the best thing of this whole episode happens. Shane discovers something. And it's freaky, guys. It is so freaky. I'm not even going to tell you. Just watch this next piece. It's freaky. Oh. Oh. <laughs> that, was not there we got here. that was not there. I would have noticed that a million... 100%. Wait, I don't like this. This isn't funny. I would, I would hate to think that an apparition would paint a clown picture, then frame that shit, and then wait for you to leave so they could put it on the side of the road. You think an apparition could get in your car? Maybe put it in your car? I would assume that's how they walk. But seemingly not. He left it on the side of the road. It, you know, that's a very, very tough place to leave it. Maybe he could have left it next to the car or on the bonnet where you could not miss it. But uh, that apparition was just a starving artist. How do you think he died? Starving. Okay. Wait, I'm so scared. What is that? Okay. Oh! Oh my god, she's touching it! What are you doing? Do what? what? Shane wants him. <laughs> I'm sweaty. And Ryland's mom picks up the painting, <laughs> even though they're all scared of it. She's like, come on, guys. It's free. Free real estate. Clown. Nobody ever talked about clowns in this whole thing. There's no motif of clowns in this whole series. Why a clown? The only person getting clowned in this video is me. That is the most Hello. terrifying thing I've ever experienced in my whole 24 years on the space. Well, now I here. touched it. I thought maybe we yeah, could take it. You Clearly, you've never been to the DMV. This thing right here is like a horse. A horse. Yeah. Thanks, Ryland. I thought it was like one of those, a horse, you know, a horsey, maybe a horsey. Thanks, Ryland. And then right before the massive scream, I was telling Chris it that it like sounds like an old man like crying or like moping while he's riding the horse. It sounds like an old man moping while he's riding a horse. Is that, this is something you say in Pictionary. Is that a sound that you can audibly hear? What is that? Oh, it's the sound of chrysanthemums being crushed by a fat lazy person's ass because he missed the chair and sat on some chrysanthemums. That's what it sounds like. But this is very, very, very niche sounds that you're going for. Very niche things that you can hear, Ryland. What did you hear? The word of the day is... My new bling pumpkin. I wouldn't get close to dogs if I were you in any videos. I'm not saying that you can't pet them. I'm just saying don't put your face close to them because we've seen what you did to them. You know when he kissed his dog? Oh, God. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's being weird on you only. <laughs> I hate this. Oh my god, that's what happens. That's what happens. That's Wait, like what? what it starts. Anytime we've gone to a haunted place, from there after, like during the nighttime, the camera won't focus on me. Man, do you know how it works? Do you know how cameras work, bro? I'm sorry, my house is not haunted. Someone just decided to vacuum it. 10 30 p.m really guys who we'll get to you mirrorless cameras they autofocus when you zoom in sometimes it takes a second to focus this is what demons do they tamper with your cameras and give you clown photos i would love to believe you honestly i just i want to see something more convincing that's all 
I don't want to see you get handed clown pictures and then be marginally out of focus for a couple seconds. It doesn't feel like a demonic experience. That just sounds like a, a normal day in your life. I don't get it. If that's what I wanted, I asked for something to follow me back. And okay, I no, we don't want it with us. What do you think Psycho? it is, Shane? Like, with me. <laughs> no, I left the clown picture there. This is his conclusion and his big reveal. Basically, he stitches together what some other people have said, either about Shane or like uh, the Colorado thing, and then lightly puts together footage of what happened to him. So like one girl says, oh man, the guy who's haunting it is really nasty. He's nasty. Me falling and hurting myself. Oh God, ow! And then it cuts to Shane falling on his Balenciaga shoes, even though he himself said that they were not made for what he was doing. And he's just gonna tie that in to make a very weak narrative. And I am so pissed off that I actually fell for it and thought the series was gonna be even remotely mediocre. Oh God. Uh, he's very territorial. There was a demon that took over my body. <gasps> oh my God. What, what, what? He jumped up out of bed. Watch out for the balloons, you're gonna die. Don't fall off the bed, you're gonna die. I just feel like a negative demon is attached to them. It's evil. She says he's very territorial. And then it cuts to Ryland ages ago, how he slept in his bed and suddenly went crazy on Shane and said some crazy shit and then went back to sleep. Then they cut to the clown poster. Marking your territory? I'm gonna stop putting clown posters over things that I don't want people to touch now. That's what I'm gonna do. That's how you mark your territory. These dogs are too busy peeing. They need to stop putting clown posters on trees because this is really how you mark territory apparently. And then it skips to Shane Dawson being like, you know, I, I moved here for a reason. I moved here for a lot of reasons. And he's also attaching himself to you. I don't know, like, it really does inspire me. Because what it will do is actually uh, make you sick. Sick. The spirit want, insinuating that the spirit wanted him to come to Colorado. I, I'm pretty sure you moved there because of the people of the world who cancelled you. I don't know about the spirit. The spirit probably doesn't want to be in your body because he's like, Jesus, what did you do? I wanted to haunt you, bro, but this is this is a lot for me, man. You need to make it known to the spirit that you want him out of your home. And then I'm ready to bring it on. Like, come live in if you don't do that, and you don't specifically say that... Well, what if it's like inviting something into our house? And all the entities, all the good ones, like, come on! He has the permission, by the law of invitation, to stay in your home and hunt. So we're going there tonight, or hopefully I just feel something. Man, I didn't know there was ghost laws. Bro, I thought when I die, I could just walk around naked and grind on a cloud. I don't I don't know what heaven is like, but I didn't think it had rules. So, I'm just gonna leave you with this. So if you guys click on this video, there is a divine reason for this. Do you wanna think you'll probably gonna watch this? Probably not! You do need to make it known to the spirit that you want him out of your home. You do have the power to get rid of it. You can call angels, they do exist, and they will help you to kick this entity out. Leaving all my worries, I can for something new. For it will oh I literally, the, literally, Chris's Uber is here. <laughs> and then Ryland's like, we should look at the pictures again. I am freaking out. The orbs are gone. So then uh, Shane does like, says demons go away. And then the next morning they uh, look at the pictures and the orbs are gone. So that's like the payoff of this video. The orbs are gone. I didn't really see the orbs, but they're gone now. And the clown poster, gone. The focus, back in focus. Shane's back in focus. The fact that Rylan woke up possessed one night, we're just not going to discuss that. That's fine. The fact that he still has pets and dogs and cats in his house, apparently uh, people are okay with that for some reason. I am not, but okay, sure. The fuck you. <laughs> there we go. And that's how the video ends. And then they have a post credit sequence about a cow. Sorry, a bull. A bow? That's how the trilogy ends. Shane Dawson, three-part series. Three different videos. Two hours, 30 minutes. Ended with a cow. I need a second to process this. Oh yeah, let me put it back. I don't know why I even did that. <laughs> I am bewildered with the lack of effort in this video. I cannot believe in two hours and 30 minutes on his return to YouTube, this is what Shane decided to put out.
and all I've seen, unfortunately, you know, objectively speaking, is a privileged, I guess, white man who managed to live a life despite doing the things he done. If a person of color or a person with a status that Shane didn't have did the things he did, would they still have a career? Because I genuinely don't think they would. And the fact that this man can return to YouTube and do anything he wants and make very, very below average quality things and get millions of views is disturbing to say the least. I'm not saying he should be cancelled, I don't believe in that. I'm fine with him getting views, I, like you know, his fan base is something he built over time. I would never discredit that. But the fact that this is the first video that he put up, he's just glossing over everything that he had done in his past and being like, well, I can't control how you feel about me. Uh, if you don't wanna follow me, don't. When you know damn well you have 20 million followers, of course people are gonna support you. You'd have to do something tremendously wrong. And the fact that you yourself didn't show it to people really makes your true fans question the validity, like, is anything ever wrong? He was so young when he did it. But nah, it feels like he just swept it under the rug. And, and it's kind of sad, bro. So Shane's return to YouTube is not one of grace. He hasn't turned over a new leaf, in my opinion. He hasn't shown empathy. He claims to be an empath. Hasn't really felt empathy towards anybody else in the situation. Hasn't really taken any accountability. He hasn't even done the one thing this video was about, which is ghost hunting. He did nothing in his return to YouTube. And he got on number one on trending. I don't know what else to say. <sighs> I guess it just goes to show. In the long run, if you can build your career to a certain point, you cannot be cancelled, no matter what you do. And Shane Dawson is a great example of that. And I don't know how to feel about that. So the scariest part of Shane Dawson's three-part series isn't to do with demons or ghosts or anything else. The scariest part about it is that a YouTuber can do stuff like be face and make certain comments, jokes that are inappropriate, do stuff with animals that you shouldn't do, and have a long career of doing that, then escape all of it and manage to be successful. If you ask me, that is scary. And that is my opinion on the video. I have nothing else to say. Uh, to any of you guys who stuck it out throughout the end, just thank you. Sorry that I had to put you through this. Um, I hope that you enjoyed the video, really. And uh, I hope that you stick around for more. I can't believe in 2021, I even have the ability to speak about Shane Dawson in a capacity that I never thought I would, because I always thought that if I said anything about anyone that people liked, they'd just be like, I'm glad I get to express my opinion while also saying I still wish this man the best for his career because he's still a human at the end of the day and maybe there's a road to redemption. I, I don't really rule anyone out. But before I go, I just want to say, be careful who you talk to because that person might know another person and that person might be cousins with another person who's then cousins with another person's brother's uncle's sister and her daughter might be a big baby. And you know what they say about big babies. They subscribe. See ya.